<laughs> Welcome to Hearthstone, where the star multipliers made up and the points absolutely matter. <laughs> the point, it's like the last quarter of a college basketball game. All the points matter. Well, I just got killed by uh, turn four, eight, eight, Edwin Van Cleef. This day is off to a, a fantastic start. I fell asleep on the couch. When I did finally get home, I sat on the couch and it was this morning. I woke up over there. My room is this way. I woke up over there. I just want to use new cards. Like Moonfang probably doesn't make sense. Oh, this. This is a draw right here. Didn't get any mook clear either. Yeah, yeah, that's true. An explosive trap off my mystery winner would have potentially helped quite a bit against all those expendable performers. Ripped, ripped in peace and pieces. Stuff like that, <laughs> right? Nazoth, God of the Deep, might be overly optimistic. A rogue. Well, I think I can just Dwarven Sharpshooter. Because turn one, Rogue is going to play the Pharaoh Cat or the Wand Thief. I mean, I would like to play Imprisoned Felmaw on two. So if she just passes, if she just daggers up or something, then that's fine. But if she plays one of those other creatures, then I can hero power it to death. Dagger pass. I get to Felmaw on two. Oh, Dagger didn't even swing and pass. She probably thinks that I am a... Highlander hunter, or perhaps a Niagro hunter. I am neither. I am dragons. I like dragons. I want to sleep on piles of gold. I am a dragon. Backstab dagger to deal with my, uh... Okay. Gosh. I could coin out a circus amalgam. Otherwise, I'm hero powering or bola shotting. Am I gonna bola shot this guy? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get the circus amalgam out. I have nothing to do on four, but I still can bola shot hero power. And then on turn five, I still have Rotten S Drake. The only thing is, if I get blown out by another Edwin Van Cleef, then I won't be able to turbo the Rotten S Drake out. But hopefully, between bola shot and hero power and my attack off of the imprisoned Felmaw. Had to make a wage a friend. With two mana, she can't play Edwin Van Cleef. She has to. Wait. Is that persistent? Oh. Okay. Oh, I got really scared there for a second. I was like, oh my gosh, she's going to play a giant Van Cleef in some way that I hadn't anticipated, and I'm going to lose to another gigantic Edwin Van Cleef again. Oh, an adorable infestation, you say. Don't mind if I do. We going wide, team! I don't understand that play at all. Yeah, I guess just really, really respecting my imprisoned Felmaw waking up? Because that would seem like a lot to just do almost enough damage to a Circus Amalgam. The problem I'm about to run into is if she doesn't play a creature... She didn't play a creature. She didn't play a creature, which means my... Rottenest Drake is not active. <laughs> now she's at to six mana, and she has a bounced back fro Foxy Fraud. Right, so she if she plays Foxy Fraud right now, she can make Edwin Van Cleef cost two. Okay, well that's not gonna work. Oh, it, no, this does still work. This is a giant Van Cleef. This is a giant Van Cleef. I'm gonna get giant Van Cleefed. And I just said how I don't have a great way to deal with a giant Van Cleef because my Rottenest Drake isn't live anymore. I just said it. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, actually, I can kill Van Cleef. It just takes... Wait, can I win the game? Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. Less than eighteen, I'm noticing. I can use Bola Shot. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can use Adorable Infestation. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold on. Let me think about this for a second. I mean, this is going here. 
I think this goes here. No, this goes here. Well, I think I think we're in good shape. I there was I had an opportunity to clear this shot bot in its entirety, but I messed it up. So, you know, that's obviously unfortunate. But I think overall, like in the grand scheme of things, I think we're actually in pretty good shape. The only thing that we need to worry about now is a world kick master generating a bunch of stuff for her. But that's not happening right now, it doesn't look like and we have stuff that's cheap. We can play that, we can play that. And we're just hitting, I'm hitting the hero power button every turn. Every turn, hero power button. Okay, this is a lot, but surely this is it. Surely this is all she has left. Oh my gosh, please draw a dragon so that I can rot nest Drake this to death. Oh no. Oh no. Oh crap. Oh no, I don't have it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, not like this. It, okay, no, don't panic. Don't panic. 10 mana, I drop Nazoth, and our Nazoth is big. Uh, it's not going to have an amazing beast in it, most likely. Because there's there's a lot of the little guys. I forget what they're called. The Marsul Cubs. Get out of here, man. Are you serious? No. Am I going to die before I make it to turn 10? Wait, wait, that gets us there. Two, four, five, six. That gets us there, right? Yes, yes, that gets us there. Two, four, six. Wow. 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 Oh. <laughs> Dirty tricks. It's fine. It's fine. You have two cards and no health. It doesn't matter. You're dead. Yes. That was a win. Oh. Wow, she only had 16 cards left. Yeah, she had Edwin Van Cleef and both questing adventurers in her top 14 cards. That's crazy. What was the second half of her deck? Oh, jeez.